These vivid, life-affirming images are the creations of London artist Sarah Ezekiel. While enjoying international recognition for her work, Sarah also has ALS, or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, which means she can neither speak nor move. Her pictures are painstakingly produced, stroke by deliberate stroke, with the movement of her eyes. When I'm creating, I'm totally focused on my work and all of my problems disappear, and I'm happy that I have somewhere to escape to. Known as the eye gaze artist, Sarah uses infrared technology which tracks the tiny movements of her pupils to control a computer mouse on a keypad, giving her the platform for artistic expression and also for communication. Letter by letter, this is how sentences are formed. It is time-consuming work, and for this reason, I sent my interview questions to her ahead of our meeting so that she could take time to prepare her answers. Sarah, how do you modify your artistic technique to suit this technology? I guess painting is very different to using my hands, and I experimented a lot. I still feel that it's a learning curve with every painting, and I have an abundance of techniques to explore. The odd thing is that my style hasn't changed and my eye gaze work resembles work I did with my hands before. I think that's just so extraordinary. Sarah's eye gaze system is made by international high-tech company Toby Dynavox, which specializes in eye tracking devices. There are a range of assistive technologies on the market, some using eye movement, others using different body parts. For example, globally renowned theoretical physicist and fellow ALS patient Stephen Hawking controlled his speech software with a muscle in his cheek. People are fascinated by the contrast between my physical weakness and the vast scale of the problems with which I deal. Sarah met him in 2015 at the movie premiere of his biopic, The Theory of Everything. ALS is sometimes known as motor neuron disease. According to the ALS Association, it affects two in 100,000 people on average, and there is no known cure. My life was pretty normal before I was diagnosed. I was a full-time mum, used to cook, clean, and go to the gym regularly. Everything changed after my son was born and I soon became totally dependent on carers for everything. Being a parent to a newborn and a three-year-old was a frightening and isolating place for Sarah. I spent my first five years with a MND without a computer, which was a bleak wilderness for me. I felt very lonely, couldn't read because my hands didn't work and couldn't create anything. 20 years on, and she now considers herself lucky to have seen her children grow up and that she has found therapeutic release through painting. How has assistive technology transformed your life as an artist? Technology has definitely made my life worth living. Before I gaze, I couldn't create. After I gaze, I'm the artist I always wanted to be. I still can't believe that I can paint with my eyes. 